everyone. So I have to replace the batteries in the boat today. So I've still got to get the old ones off and then drop the new ones in. So hopefully it's not too difficult because it is in a small little compartment in the cabinet. So we'll see. Well, after I got the batteries back to the boat, I realized the dates were pretty old and the one in the middle didn't even match up to the dates. It was a newer model. So I knew this wouldn't sit on the back of my mind with my OCD and so off they went to the parts store. Since it was Sunday fun day, we decided to make a pit stop on the way back to the boat. It's on video. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> 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 she off the rocker. <laughs> <laughs> it happened. <laughs> There you go. So, so y'all get a high five or something, y'all did it. Nobody died. All right. <laughs> that was good. There you go. I purchased these two gauge battery cables off of Amazon because this six gauge here was what came with the inverter. But one is something a little bit more heavy duty. This is the inline bolt on fuse that will go from behind here and then to the inverter. And there it is upside down. The inverter does have built in fuses, but this is just an extra precaution. Okay, I've got the inverter all hooked up finally. Um, it was a little bit of a struggle because it's so, such a small area to work in. Um, but it's all hooked up, good to go. You take a little break and then I am going to swap out the batteries and hopefully that goes a lot quicker than that inverter did. Um, you would think that the inverter would have been like really quick, but I don't, it wasn't. It was, it took longer, of course, it took a lot longer than I was expecting. Um, hopefully these will go quick because it's just pretty much unhooked things and drop the new batteries in and hook them up exactly the way they are so i'll be back one out one to go that was um <laughs> I think everything's a bit of a struggle for me. <laughs> um, that was kind of hard to get out of there. It's heavy. There's not much room to um, pull it out far enough to get it out of that battery box. But, um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and put this in here, hook it up, then I'm going to do the next one. So everything's done. The inverter is running behind the switch on a common positive terminal. And it runs down here to this charging, uh, not charging block, this fuse block here. And it's hanging upside down. That's why I have it taped because the cover won't stay on. Um, most people probably won't hang it upside down like that, but my cables weren't long enough to do it otherwise. It's okay for now. Um, I'll live with it. But anyways, the um, negative cable is behind here and it runs down back there to the negative post on the battery. I tested this last night and it works, it's great. Anyways, um, 
the charge controller is what I unhooked. Now I unhooked that at night so there wasn't a load coming in. I started with the uh, solar panel wires first and then I unhooked the house load and the batteries. And then the next night, I, when I hooked it back up at night time, of course, I um, did it in reverse. I did the load and the positive, um, I mean, the load and the batteries. I don't know if those two really matter, which one go first, but I did the um, panels last. So you want to hook everything up and then do the panels last. Um, and of course, I hooked up the battery first. I did the first one of the inverter, and then I hooked up the batteries, and then I went to the charger when it was nighttime, and um, hooked them up, the, uh, the load of the batteries, and then last but not least, the panel, the panel wire. So, um, I need to get a heavy duty extension cord to run from the inverter. And run it down and through here, and it goes all the way around the boat. And um, it'll supply power to a power strip for like the TV or the laptops or whatever else you want. And um, if I continue it on into the bathroom, then it can be used for um, a hair dryer or whatnot. As long as the wattage is low enough for this inverter to run. This is a, it's a what is that? 1500? I can't remember what it is. It's a 1200. 1200, 2400 watt max. So it won't run the hair dryer that I have right now. I have to get a smaller one or it might run it on low. I'm not sure. I haven't tested it yet. So, anyways, batteries are in. Happy with them. Um, the Duralas AGMs, they're not top of the line AGMs, but hey, it's a start. Um, I'm much happier with these. They're sealed. I don't ever have to do maintenance on them. And um, there is the house, uh, not the house, those are the house batteries. They, those run your stove. It also runs your water pump, which is for your running water. Um, the starting battery is over here in this little compartment. It's on its own, but it's still being charged and monitored by the smart controller over there. It's an MPPT uh, EPEF or I don't know how you pronounce that. This is the monitor. It is running from the smart charger which is being fed by the solar panels and then of course going to the batteries. So it goes from the solar panels to the smart charger to the batteries. It keeps them topped up and you can see that the batteries are happy right now. And it tells you the volts that they're sitting on, sitting at. To the left is the solar panels. It tells you the volts and the amps that it's bringing in. And to the right is what your house load is. So this is what I look at daily just to keep an eye on things. Anyways, um, everything's good. Happy with it. Except for, okay, so <laughs> it's never ending. I can mark this off, this project off the list. I, yesterday I, I realized that uh, that outlet doesn't work so it's gonna have to be replaced so I'm gonna add that <laughs> to the list there's always something you fix something something else breaks uh, life of a boat and the batteries on the boat <laughs> I don't know what that was it was a piece that fell off the camera thing that holds the phone on and um, so the phone keeps falling out of the screen stupid holder. So, that. Five? And was that five? five. five? That was four. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> Really? Can you go get me a beer? That, that scooter ain't going too far. Here we go. You shouldn't drag race on that thing, that's for sure. <laughs> oh shit, look out! There you go. Alright, taking your scooter and going home? <laughs> Yeah.
Yeah, everyone's laughing. All right, well, you know what?